Hi, I'm Shareen Lanise Henderson, and I am the psychic medium, clairvoyant, empath, and um, let me see, what else can I tell you about me? Let's see what your question was. When I first started noticing that other people weren't seeing what I was seeing was in my teens, um, I started coming out publicly to the world uh, in 2000. And yeah, in 2000, I had um, started presenting my abilities based off uh, uh, by kind of hiding behind a curtain. I presented them as a spiritual life coach, presenting uh, seminars and things like that. Um, I finally sat down and just, I was doing one on one uh, life coaching and moved into the psychic medium ship part of it, you know, uh, because I was running from it and I didn't really want to do it. And so, finally, now, I sat down and did it about 2001. I just took off. People just kept coming to me. So, I, I just took off and just I kept doing it. Um, let's see. How long? Well, do you give readings as an occupation? I give readings all the time as an occupation. This is what I do full time. Um, I used to be in the corporate world, but Spirit said, no. So, this is what I do full time now. Yes, I am uh, full time psychic medium. I don't go into trances or things like that. My most memorable reading would be uh, those who are about to cross over and are they are uh, clients who are inquiring about a loved one that is going to cross over and uh, are meeting uh, uh, those readings where another entity shows up in the room. Mm -hmm. That's also a very memorable because they'll show up, they sure will. And I shut them right down. <laughs> so, yeah, those are memorable, too. My clientele status is just a little bit under a 1,000. It may be a 1,000. I really don't keep up with it. It's a lot. It's heavy. It's a lot. Yeah. I, it's constant. Yeah. The clients book their readings through me, with me. Either they can do it through email. They can do it through Facebook. They can do it through IG, which is Instagram. They can do it through Twitter. I don't use Twitter a lot, but they can do Twitter. Um, they can go through my website and book an appointment. They can text me. Um, uh, I do provide live video readings as I do read for people all over the world. Uh, from time to time, there will be someone from out of the country that will get in touch with me. Uh, so I give a live video readings. Um, I, my unique style, uh, there's nothing really unique. Uh, I guess you could say it's unique. Um, I, 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 I will touch a person's hand. I'll have someone lay their hands on mine as I read for them. I mean, as to talk, talk, not as I read for them, but to hone into them because that makes them focus. Um, it's not necessarily, I don't need to touch their hand, but if I have their hand, they're focusing right in on what on me so I can get them to focus and I can tap into them on the spiritual realm. I do read tarot. I can take an item in my hand and read and, and pick up on energies from that item. Um, I don't need the tarot. I don't need the cards. But I do it because people seem to feel comfortable with something tangible that they can relate to uh, during the reading. So I can do that. Um, let me see. Um... I pick up telepathically some things that are happening. I'm clairaudient. I see visions. I have waking visions. I have, I, I have sleeping visions. I mean, dreams and that come to pass like the next day or the day after. Um, basically, that's it for that. Um, what sets me apart from other psychic mediums? Every one of us are different in our in our abilities. I don't call them gifts because gifts is something that we're given. And um, I was born with this thing, so these things, so I don't call them gifts. What sets me apart? Nothing really. I'm just a psychic medium. I'm very humble. Maybe that'll set me apart. I'm really humble. I don't try to brag or say, oh, I'm better than you because, no, I'm just, I'm a psychic medium. I do what I do because that's what I do. And I'm actually aware of it all the time, and that's where I'm here. That's my purpose, so pretty much that. Yeah, yeah. What more should you know about me? I'm constantly in and out of the realm. I, You know, when I say that, I mean um, I'm in spirit, and I'm in the matrix here, the, the, the material matrix. Um, all the time. It's not something I choose to do. It's something that just kind of, like, happens to me, and it 
may take me. It doesn't, it's, it's, it's not something that I can't control. I won't say that. I can control it. Yeah. And why should you give me this opportunity? I'm, that's a hard question because basically I just, um, I'm a spiritual gypsy and when spirit presents something to me, I always inquire or always follow that, that journey to see where it's going to lead. So it really is your decision whether you want to give me this opportunity or not. But if you choose to, I am open to um, traveling the journey. And um, yeah, I leave that with you. I hope it was 90 minutes. <laughs>